Hi guys, Trello is one of my very favorite organizational tools. We actually use it here at Coursecraft to keep track of stuff like projects we're working on, uh, feature suggestions, and just generally a place to dump all of our ideas until we can figure out what to do with them. Uh, I even used it one time to plan a kitchen renovation. So basically any kind of project that you can think of, you can use Trello to organize things and keep yourself on track. So you can imagine this would be a great tool for people who are creating an e-course. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a Trello board to keep track of your content, your assets, and all your ideas while you're planning your e-course and keep yourself organized and on track. Okay, so here we are in my Trello board for my course. It's sort of tentatively titled 30 Days of Pattern Play. And before I get into how I organize things, I wanna talk about a few Trello basics so that you know what I'm talking about. So I mentioned here, this is my board. I've got a board for each course I'm working on and inside the board are different lists. So get to know your supplies, single motif patterns, multi motif patterns. These are all the lists. And inside each list, you can have cards. So this is an example of a card here. Inside a card, you can write notes, make comments, you can add attachments, you can make a due date, you can add checklists, you can add labels. You can, once you're done working on a card, you can archive it. You can move it to another board and just drag and drop stuff into other boards. And so those are sort of the basic um, components of a Trello board. And going from that, you can sort of organize anything, however you want. It's really customizable and really easy to use. I'll click over here in the menu and you can see some of the settings. You can change the background. I chose a little fun confetti photo. Uh, this is the activity for your board. There's a whole bunch of different power-ups. There's a whole bunch of settings. You can add people to uh, help you work on the board. Those are all your settings right there. And so I see a lot of people, the way they organize their Trello boards are each list is sort of something like they'll have a to-do list, a list where they're working on stuff, a list for things that are complete, a list that, for things that are waiting on something else, and they'll sort of move their different cards between the lists as they get things done. And that is a super great way to organize things if it's sort of on a schedule. But I thought working on an e-course, um, I would want to have all of my notes and my content and my images and all that stuff organized in a similar way to what I'm going to organize it in my course. So each of my lists here are maybe not going to be individual lessons, but at least sort of sections I'm going to cover in the course. So I've made a list for each section I wanna talk about in the course, and that's sort of a great way to start um, outlining your course and sort of writing an outline. So I've got a list for each section of my course, and inside the list, I have cards relating to that section. So when I'm done doing all my planning, I can just work on the first card, put it all into course craft, get everything organized, move on to the second card, do the same thing and sort of work through it like that. And I thought if I had things organized by due date, it would just get a little bit too jumbled and disorganized. And I wanted to keep it organized in a similar way to what I would see in my e-course. What I've started to do is I've made a card for each video that I wanna make. And in this one, I have a little checklist. So I have a checklist of things that I need to do in order to complete this video. I've got a little image here as some inspiration for my video. And I've created a little orange video label. And I've added that label to all my video tasks. So you can see all of these orange labeled cards here. They relate to videos. So I might, might be good if I wanna batch some videos together. I could easily see where all of my video tasks are. I also have cards for written content and I have some notes in each of these cards to get me started. I've got cards like this where I wanna talk about some of my favorite supplies. So I've got some screenshots in here that I'm gonna use in my course and some links. So they're all ready to go when I wanna put them into my lesson. And I've just sort of used that same organizational structure in each of these lists here going forward. And I haven't completed everything yet, but I'm still working on it. I just really like how it's such a visual way to organize things. It's so much more interesting than just a boring old to-do list. And you can keep all of your assets organized too. So I can have screenshots and images here. 
Um, I can add attachments right from my computer or Dropbox even and just keep all of my things organized in one place. It's just such a great all-in-one tool to keep all of your written content, your notes, your inspiration images, and your assets all in one spot so it's all there ready for you. And it really helps keep me organized when I'm outlining my course and getting things ready to go. So I hope you liked that video and it gave you a lot of ideas to put into practice for your own course plans. As you can see, Trello is super customizable and easy to use, so it's great for any project really. And if you liked what you saw, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and we will keep posting videos to help you create amazing e-courses.